Israel continued its ferocious rounds of airstrikes on Hezbollah's key strongholds in southern Beirut in Lebanon. The strikes that began last night in the heart of the capital city sent plumes of thick smoke billowing into the sky, sparking fear and chaos in densely populated civilian areas. The operations marked Israel's most intense strikes on Beirut since shifting its military focus from Gaza to Lebanon earlier this week. The targets of these attacks were allegedly Hezbollah strongholds scattered throughout Lebanon with devastating consequences, including the deaths of hundreds of people. After almost a year of Hezbollah firing rockets, missiles and suicide drones at Israeli civilians, after almost a year of Israel warning the world and telling them that Hezbollah must be stopped, Israel is doing what every sovereign state in the world would do if they had a terror organization that seeks their destruction on their border. Now, this bombing came moments after Netanyahu concluded his address to UN General Assembly delegates in New York, where he vowed to keep up strikes against Hezbollah and fight until victory against Hamas. But I have a message for you. Israel will win this battle. We'll win this battle because we don't have a choice. Israel will not go gently into that good night. People of Israel live now, tomorrow, forever. Thank you. Meanwhile, Yemen's Iran-aligned Houthi militants have targeted Israeli cities Tel Aviv and Ashkelon, as well as three U.S. destroyers in the Red Sea. This military action was described as a show of support for both Gaza and Lebanon amid escalating regional tensions. The Houthis employed missiles and drones in their attacks, further complicating the already volatile situation in the Middle East. Now, this comes days after the United States, France and other allies jointly called for a 21-day ceasefire, a call that was rejected by Israel as they continue to pound Lebanon.